This match will happen in 2021. There you go. It will. One way or the other. Okay. Telling me that I have to earn the right to pull a Vaughn is the dumbest shit ever said on the internet. What's good arm wrestling fans, I'm Pradeep Singh from arm wrestling noobs. Welcome to my channel. These are the topics that we are going to discuss today. So let's get started and make sure you are with me till the end. Michael Todd vs Levon Saganash is finally cancelled. Because as the match was getting closer, Igor said that he has had enough and decided to step in and stop this match. So this is how this went. Igor uploaded a video on his Instagram in Russian language. But luckily we have a couple of translations available. We will talk about them and then we will also discuss the official statement that was released by PAL about this situation. So this translation is provided by Arm Wrestling My Life. Thank you guys for that. Igor said that Michael will have to pass all the tests like everyone to get in the top 8. And the only stage where this match is happening is PAL. No way this match is happening anywhere else said Igor. There was also some perceived threats for Levon. Igor said that to violate his contract and have a match with Michael, Levon knows what he can lose if he does that. This is the language that was objectionable to everyone. To talk about your top athlete like that, many people did not find it acceptable. Let's now look at the word by word translation provided by Artem Terenenko from Top Roll King Productions on the Facebook group. Michael Todd is a cool guy and nothing more. He hasn't won Zloty once in his life and now you think he can just pull Levon? Jokes aside, there are many steps that need to be completed like winning Zloty, being a part of top 8 and then we can see something. I don't understand why there are many steps for Michael Todd to get in top 8 because for Dave there was only one step. Dave Chafee had a transition fight with Rimkus and his next fight was Levon. So there is just one step that I can see here. And guys if you remember Dave Chafee is the guy that Michael beat 3-0 very comfortably. So you are giving him the champion status and saying that Michael is nobody. That just doesn't make sense to me. Levon rightfully earned his title and became the strongest arm wrestler on the planet. Devon said that just because he's running a tournament called Top 8, it doesn't automatically mean that they are the Top 8 guys in the world. We need to have Michael vs Levon in order to find out who the number one really is. We invited Michael for the first Top 8 and he refused. Now he has to reap what he has sowed and enjoy his breadcrumbs from WL. In WL he has become a super champion and here at Zloty, I think he would take 6th, 7th place. To this, Michael said that yes, he took 7th place at Zloty, but it was when all of the top 8 guys were also participating in Zloty. And he also had a torn pectoral muscle 2 weeks prior to Zloty. Igor also tried to belittle WL by saying that it is just for entertainment only, it is not a real sport. That's again a questionable statement. Because in that same entertainment league, one of his top 8 guys, Krasimir Kostadinov, lost both his matches in 2018 and he was literally destroyed by Dave Chafee. Here Laret told me that we should have this match ASAP. So Devon is talking about the Levon vs Michael Todd match here. Wow, just a minute. And how long did we wait for you to agree to pull with Dennis? Remember everyone? That's right, 6 years. 6 years, Devon still did not agree to an arm fight with Dennis and when we nevertheless cut him a huge chunk of dollars, the whole world saw this warm up for Dennis over a man who did not bother to prepare and lost with a score of 6-0. Next, do I need to explain to you anything else or can you follow the rules? Devon replied to this by saying that they were not able to put up the money. Um, before 2013, when I had my surgery, Dennis was the the main target that I was after, and we could not make it happen. And we were offering money that was not 
being matched. We offered $50,000. We offered $10,000. Everything was rejected by the PAL. And people are saying that they should just ignore the contracts and make it a pay-per-view for $10 on Larry Wheel's channel. And if 10,000 people buy it, then both will earn enough money. Guys, this is not how it works. First of all, if anyone can violate a contract like that, then what is even the point in having the contracts? There are definitely some legalities and penalties involved in the contracts if you violate them. And second of all, there is no way 10,000 people are paying to watch an arm wrestling match. And Michael Todd has already said that he will not sign any contract with anyone in the future. And he will also not compete in the Zloty to qualify for the top 8. So considering all of this, we can easily say that this match is not happening. But in their last YouTube live, Michael and Rebecca said two controversial things. Number one, Rebecca said that Igor has not paid anything to Levon in 2020. Now Michael said that she shouldn't have said that, but it is already out. So a few days ago, Igor was talking bad about the WAF for banning its athletes for being seen with PL athletes. And now he's not even paying Levon anything and telling him that he will lose something if he pulls Michael. However, even before Levon arrived in Dubai, I asked him if he would arm wrestle Michael Todd and he simply replied by saying one word, no. So this match was never supposed to happen according to Levon. The second controversial thing that Michael said, there will be a match with Levon one way or the other. So is he talking about going against the contract not only for himself but also expecting Levon to do the same to violate his contract? Maybe who knows. And guys, I've been talking all bad about Igor till now. But everyone knows that what Igor has done for arm wrestling is beyond anyone else's abilities. And from a businessman point of view, if we try to understand why he would not let his contracted athletes compete just like that. Because Michael did not just try to find out who is the best. If he wanted it, he could have done it without the cameras. But they tried to look for the sponsors and make it a big thing. And he said that the money has to be right for this match. That is where Igor stepped in. It's easy to talk shit about Igor from the fans perspective. But let's be honest. If we were in his place and we saw our contracted athletes trying to make money of a match without even asking for permission, we would have done the same. Anyways, let's get back to Michael's statement. This match will happen in 2021, one way or the other. I really want to see this match and I hope Michael gets it done this time, but without getting himself into trouble or without getting Levon into trouble, providing entertainment to fans while putting themselves in harm's way, that is something that no one wants. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who thinks like you. My name is Pradeep and I thank you so much for watching.